It's late August. GCSE results have just come out, and head teacher Gary Phillips is back early from France to start the tortuous process of dissection with assistant head and resident number cruncher Andrew Cumley. Then you get a contextual value added. Well, presumably, what you need to do. Or seven, still not put it in there. Um, you need to put the same. Lillian Bayliss School in Vauxhall, South London, is on the government's hit list. For all schools, the key to not being forcibly academised is to get above 30% A to C GCSEs with English and Maths. That's the reaction I like to see. I'll do a spreadsheet for the staff, OK? Then when they come back, every individual teacher will get a print off of their class, yep. plus the team leaders will get all of theirs, yep. showing the personal value added that they got for each of their children. Oh, that will do, get? yeah, OK, that's um, good. Very, um, nice star. <laughs> uh, you can't even talk, BC. Can you? so Last year, they reached 27%. <laughs> Today, they're estimating a 1% improvement. I could have been English. Though that could go up. When we come back as an SMT, we need to effect, do a post-mortem through individual students to see how well we targeted, could we have done anything different, and what will help us for next year. Well, that's the big for Gary, too, isn't it? the you son of a market trader, the coming year is about exceeding that 30% mark. So, so congratulations, A star for maths and A for astronomy. Well done. At Lillian Bayliss, term starts with the new Year 7s. OK, good morning. Here we go again. Jeff, Year 7. Oh, good morning, everybody. Uh, right, we've, we've got them arriving. They've been coming since 20 to 8 this morning, all keen and eager. Um, I've had my that's first just the staff. I've, I've had my hoodie and my first bud already. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good start to the day. Uh, right, very briefly. We have a great story to tell. We're the most improved school in Lambeth now for two years running, which is a fantastic achievement. You know, maths at 45%, English results rising, science is actually just over the 40% with one C and above, and again, pastorals graded as outstanding. We need to remind ourselves what great shape we're in at the start of the year, and we need to tell the story to the children. It's now about self-belief not amongst ourselves, but about our children and our families. They have to believe now that this is a school where they can and will achieve, where more than half of them will leave with five A to Cs. So we need to kind of keep reinforcing that message to our students, because nothing will work better than doing that, along with all the hard work that everybody's put in. So if we could keep doing that from day one, with the year sevens all the way up, this is a school in which you achieve. And if we keep telling them, some of them, like last year, will start to really believe that. And some of those students, when we look back, we never thought we'd see them leave with five ACs. did. And maybe that was why. Let's have a great day. Thank you very much. Woo! Okay, you would 7 Go to one of these with the orange tie, you'll get your name badge. Gary Phillips has been head of Lillian Bayliss for the past seven years. Strange boy in green shirt, 103, 104. He went into teaching after a stint in the music business. Phil, can you ring home and explain school starts tomorrow? Good morning, I'm Gary Phillips, I'm her teacher. Um, and thank you for coming. We're interviewing for two learning support assistants. So what we do today is I'll talk to you for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll take you around to meet Jo, who's the special needs coordinator. Mm. She's the team leader who runs a special needs team and she'll talk to you about the job. Then we ask you to do a short written exercise because literacy is very important and we have to ensure that the people who come to work here have absolutely um, outstanding literacy because that's the key thing you'll be supporting children with. I mean, we are a local you know, council secondary school for 11 to 16 year olds. We're the only truly non-selective school in the area. So that means that our intake is different to the selective schools and the selective schools are selective in a whole host of ways, you know, front door selection and back door selection. You come here if you choose to come here and you live closest, it's that simple. The school is now full from top to bottom with children whose families um, chose this as their first choice. And this will be the first year that's happened, that's five years now. 80% almost come from homes which claim free school meals, which means they live on a gross income of under about 14,000 a year, which is pretty low. 
Um, 120 children each year group, roughly 90% coming from the black and minority ethnic groups, whereas only 50% do locally, which tells you all you need to know about selection and how it works, unfortunately. Um, about 40% come in having reached the national average in English. Nationally, it's closer to 80%. So a key issue for our children is reading and writing in English. Ten years ago, we were in special measures, had police cars escorting students off site and, you know, had head teachers who'd come and walk off, you know, stay for only six months and go. Just see for that one. Yep. That should give an indication of what type of school it was, and Gary actually came and turned it around. Hey, Nana. Is that Macaulay's mum there in the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, the students yeah. actually know him and he knows them personally. He can call them by names, he knows their parents' <laughs> names, God knows how he does it, but he knows, he does know them. <laughs> Why is she coming at work at 25 past? I have to be honest, no one takes the wiki. He gets things done. I find him approachable, it's just that when he's, and he's everywhere, he's there all the time. He's a hands on head and he takes classes. <laughs> yeah, he says I'm a rubbish teacher, I'm not as good as any of you. But oh no, he takes classes, last sets and science and things. So you know that he can do whatever he's asking you to do. If we take the uniform cue against that wall, then we can get people pick up the lollipops and pen them against their. David, our four runaways from the end of last term. Try and get them in today and polish off the, the meetings. Right. Joe and I spend the best part of a day recruiting LSAs. And if we get the LSAs right, then we get everything else right, because from the LSAs we appoint our learning mentors, we recruit our heads of year and heads of, or heads of house, the non-teaching staff, our old library tutor, our attendance officer. We appoint our catch-up tutors, people who teach English and maths for one or two days a week to very small classes. And we've had people come through from there to go th through into teacher training who will hopefully, and we expect, to come back to us. So, in a funny sort of way, it's almost more important than the main scale teachers because it's this whole group of staff we're bringing through. There's a couple of spellings, just it's oh, double right. R there. No, no, you can't and, teach. Uh, right, that's it. Initially, there are a couple. Oh, um, that's that. OK, that's that one done, you know. No spelling errors in this one at all. Right, can you check that? Because I think it's the world... I can't actually come up for breath when I read the sentences on that one. It's... Tell me what you think. Oh, dear, that's a bad one. I couldn't tell if that was bad writing. This is very good, although I'm slightly hesitant about employing anybody who does their dots their eyes with big circles. But apart from that, it's very good. So you're just going to drop the two off? We've decided not to shortlist you. OK. The people we shortlisted just had a whole lot more ideas about what to do. Yes. And especially when they kind of did the written piece, were able to kind of record lots of different strategies that they might use in all those different situations. Yeah. yeah I'm afraid we decided not to shortlist you, Marcia. Cut to the chase, oh. because there's so many um, literacy errors on your thing. I'm sorry to say, and um, it's got to be perfect. I'm to very work in. shocked and surprised. To well, I was. I thought it was a medical secretary I'm in a funny sort shocked. of one. But you know, we're pulling LSAs to do literacy work. Mm. Key stage three. It has to be right. Here we are. That's 111 coming in. Bad start. First day at school. You know, I do do this big speech on the first day, usually, about turning up on time, but what's the point? Are you going to have a school bag for me next week, please? Tomorrow, well done. No problem. How uh, has it been? They're all so sweet, aren't they? They are. They're lovely. You know. They're lovely. But you can also spot the one or two that in have, four years' time... I have can... already. Yeah. Doesn't he look like he could be one of the Goral family? He's, he's, he's Goral, yeah. Oh, you're a Goral. Is, yeah. I thought you might be. Are you the last one? OK, so that'll be three we've had. Congratulations. What's your brother doing? Older brother. He's going to go to college. To do what? He's got good grades, isn't he? He did very well. See if you can beat him.
of uh, editing. It's going to be done by the next week. Um, you mentioned to Joe you can get those trays to go on wheelchairs oh, really? okay. so that she's a bit more independent. Yes. I know you could kind of clip it on when she comes down to lunch. Right. And then if she wants to. Yeah. See, so, yeah, how are you, big brother? How's college? Uh, it's good. Yeah. Electronics now. Uh, yeah. Number of college. Number. So you're second year. Yeah, second year. And then what? University uh, or yeah. high fives? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pleased with you. Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, younger brother. Yeah. As you know, last day of term, mm. with his three friends, decided to go for a walk up and down the high street. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Plus all the other stuff. You need to go up and see Mr. Brown. Yeah, we'll see you You've seen him. Yeah, yeah. That's fine then. OK, because you were the only one who, after the event, went to saw Nana get your letter. So as far as I'm concerned, it's closed. Don't make a fool of yourself again. New year, new start. Thanks coming in, Johnson. Well done. How many are you up to today, then? 113. 113, that's better than last year, isn't it? We're on about 108. There's 13 not here, but there's two we know about, and then another one's rung there, stuck in Jamaica because of the hurricane. Hurricane, yeah. One in Mali. Yeah, I don't know about that. Things. One at Stockwell Park. Yeah, I'm not a bit like the one in the hurricane. That. Can't get transport out of the place. Yeah, the rest are all here. Good, good. One's under detention already. Good. <laughs> you are joining Lambeth's most improved school. For the second year running, we have won the Lambeth Oscar for our most improved results. And I congratulate you for making that choice. You will find out, as time goes on, the amazing opportunities that you will have at this school. And you have an amazing opportunity to do one thing, and that's to transform your life chances. To be whatever you want to be when you leave school. And last year, 50% of our students left here with five A to Cs. Massive increase on last year, the year before, and the year before that. And that number will go up and up year on year, I promise you, because the staff team here are dedicated to doing that. You will meet over the next few weeks and months with a wide variety of people. We've got a fantastic pastoral team which will look after you. We've got a group of people called Kids Company who will support you if there's difficult things going on at home. We've got a whole lot of people who come in after school and work with you on things like dance and music. And all of those great opportunities will unfold. So welcome, but to officially welcome you, I'd like to ask um, colleagues if they wouldn't mind just standing up, staff colleagues those of us who are seated, and perhaps we could just give our Year 7s a round of applause to welcome into the school. Please. The speech is often more for the staff than the kids. Well, the students know that school is a place which will improve their life chances, and so do staff, but I need staff to keep telling children. I can't keep telling them. I've got 80 staff. I need 80 staff to constantly be telling people this will transform your life chances. And every time I remind the class, I'm really reminding the teacher and the LSA, and hopefully later on in the lesson, I reinforce the message. Nobody remembers what a head teacher says.